Are you having any issues with your Baby Brezza bottle sterilizer and dryer? <laughs> well, based off of your comments on our review of the Baby Brezza sterilizer, I've compiled a list of common issues and I called Baby Brezza and asked them what are the best solutions for it. So in this video, I'm gonna give you the best solutions for when your Baby Brezza bottle sterilizer and dryer is not working or drying properly. So stick with me to the end if you have any of these problems and are looking for a solution. Hey, if this is the first time we've met, I'm Dan and welcome to Parent Pacifier. On this channel, my wife Amanda and I help new and soon to be parents with product reviews and tip videos just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon so you never miss a video. And hey, I got a question for you before we get started. What are the issues that you are having with your Baby Brezza bottle sterilizer and dryer? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're not having any issues, let us know if you like it. Um, so we, I broke it down into three common issues. Common issue number one is that the bottles and lids have dry water spots on them. And common issue number two, that bottles, parts, and lids are not fully drying, so you're finding water inside of your parts. And common issue number three is that the sterilizer stops working midway through sterilizing and then a red screen pops up. So I'm gonna try to do my best to give you the solutions for these problems and um, what you can do about it to help prevent some of these issues. So uh, common issue number one, bottles and lids have dry water spots. Um, I've only really had that issue uh, with dry water spots on the lid. For me, that's not really a big issue. Um, but if you're finding it on your bottles, what, what can you do about that? Well, according to Baby Reza, they said, uh, try a drier, long, uh, longer dry cycle. All right. So in my review on how to use the Baby Reza bottle sterilizer, um, I said to go about 30 minutes with your dry cycle. Um, but you could go longer if you need to. Uh, if you're finding that, try going to the 45 or the 60 minute dry cycles. If you're like us, we like to do the sterilization at the end of the night so that we can put bottles in there and go to bed. This way, when we wake up, the bottles have all been sterilized and we could just get ready with filling our bottles in the morning. Um, but if you do that and the bottles didn't fully dry under a 30 minute or 45 minute cycle, um, it will be dry by the morning, of course, but it'll leave these wet spots. So try going to maybe the 60 minute dry cycle um, when you set that up and see if you still get those dry spots. Another option, which is something I actually haven't done yet, I've actually got asked that by uh, someone on Facebook, is uh, have I tried cleaning the filter yet? And I actually haven't in uh, nine months of having it and Baby Brezza recommends cleaning it at least once a month. Um, so I pulled out the filter right here. You can unscrew it. It's four little uh, Phillips screws right here. And according to Baby Reza, you could just rinse this in the water and then let it air dry, uh, maybe overnight. And that's how you could clean the filter. That'll prevent any dust being picked up from the countertop, uh, dirt, or whatever it is that you might have um, that could be a good option to potentially see if that's what's causing any kind of spots or anything on your uh, lid or on your bottles. Uh, common issue number two is bottle parts, um, bottles, and lids are not fully drying. Well, just like common issue number one, the solution could be to trying a longer cycle, like a 45 minute or a 60 minute cycle. Um, so try that and see if you're still finding wet spots. I occasionally still find it to be wet at the top on the lid with a 30 minute dry cycle. So I may try a 45 minute dry cycle just to see if it does fully completely dry the lid. I'm, I'm less worried about the lid than I am about if the bottles cycle, let it go through again, right? Because you could, there is a dry only cycle that you could press if it's still wet and try drying it again for another 30 minutes. See, see how that works. But also make sure that your bottles 
and all of the parts are as vertical as possible. If I take the lid off here and you're to see here, when you put bottles on to this, you wanna make sure that they're vertical as possible, right? And that your nipples are up here as vertical as possible because if they're if they're sideways, if you have a whole bunch of stuff, if you have, um, uh, you know, uh, breast pump parts inside of here, they potentially might block the airflow from getting all the way up to the top of the nipples, right? Which will uh, cause water to potentially still stay in there, right? Because steam can get to it, but the air might not be able to. So if, you've, if it's overpacked, that may cause um, water to remain. So you may want to try that 60 cycle. You may want to try just sending it through the dry cycle again. Um, so that would be my suggestions if you're still finding uh, water in there. Just try testing. Try putting bottles in different ways. Try putting the parts in there, especially if you use Dr. Brown's like us, um, and you have to fill in those uh, those vent inserts, and then you got to fit in the pipes, and then you got to put the nipples at the top here. It just it gets kind of packed, so you want to uh, make sure it's all arranged in an order that makes sense. Now, common issue number three, uh, this is when the sterilizer stops midway and you see a red screen show up uh, right here, right there, All right? It'll turn red. Usually it's like a blue, it'll turn red. So in that case, it could be a number of things. You might've not put enough water inside of the um, base right over that plate, right? We have the plate right in here, right? You might not have put enough water in here. It's a little hard to show it in this setting, but you could see right here, there is a lip. You wanna be actually over it to the max line. You see these, these dots here? That shows the max line. You actually wanna be over it. You wanna just, be underneath the fan, not going over the fan. Um, so four ounces is really the best way to go. So if you're not confident of uh, eyeing it in here, take a Pyrex, right? Something like this, or even just take a baby bottle, put in four ounces of distilled water and pour it right in there. That should work every time. Uh, and you should have enough water in there with that. Um, Baby Brezza recommends using distilled water. And the reason for using distilled water is so that there is not a large amount of mineral buildup on the steel plate. Because the second thing that may cause this red screen or cause the sterilizing to stop is that it may have boiled over too fast. And that's usually a result of over um, of overboiling because there is a lot of mineral buildup on the plate because it's getting hotter because it can't reach the water as fast because the minerals are there. So it's having to boil even um, harder, right? So it might be boiling over into the fan, which can cause then the fan to break. And I've seen a lot of, especially on Amazon reviews of people saying that the fan stopped working after a couple of months. That's likely because the water has overflowed into the fan, causing it to short out. Um, so you want to make sure that you don't let it over boil. And the way to do that is if, if, if you're using tap water, if that's what you have, right? Um, it's okay, but you want to make sure you're cleaning out that base. Now I explained that in the review and the how to use, I explained how to clean it, but I'll explain it again. Um, according to baby Brez's, um, FAQ and their manual, the, the best way to clean it out is making a solution of one part white vinegar, and one part water, distilled water, and which would be, I guess, two ounces vinegar, two ounces water, put it into the base, take out the uh, bottle rack, put the lid on, and run it through the sterilized cycle once. After it's fully run through the sterilized cycle, then put in the put in another cycle of just distilled water. And it says to do that as many times after to um, until it's fully clean or until you get rid of the vinegar smell. Now that's one thing, even with the person I was talking to at Baby Brezza said that they don't want their one that they use to smell like vinegar, right? And neither do I. So 
instead of running it through the system, what does work is just pouring some white vinegar straight into the plate, not turning it on, just let it sit there for 10, 15 minutes, even an hour if you have the time or the patience. Uh, and just don't forget about it because you don't want vinegar to be steaming your bottles. Um, so that once you've put that in there, I've used just a paper towel. Um, you could use a sponge, like a clean sponge that you just use for this to score out the uh, buildup, which if you use tap water, it tends to look like rust, right? So if you if you think you're seeing rust, it's actually not rust. It's buildup of minerals from the tap water. If you're using distilled water, you will see like a white buildup on there. So if you are using tap water, the recommendation is to um, do that cycle at least every other day. And I know that sounds like a lot, but if you're using tap water, it's going to put a lot of minerals in there, especially depending on wherever you live, however many minerals there might be, uh, that will build up a lot more. But even if you're using distilled like we do, you um, want to make sure you're doing it at least every other week, uh, cleaning it out with some vinegar. And uh, if not every week, it's just, when do we have the time to do any of that? Because <laughs> Let me just get some coffee. Uh, so those are definitely the, uh, the steps you want to take. Um, and always making sure that, you're, that the plate is actually clean. Um, so, and that will help prevent the issues of your um, dryer when uh, to stop working, right? Once it stops working at that point, you probably will have to exchange it or get a new one. Um, but you want to prevent that from happening. So you don't want it to overboil. Um, so I hope these uh, solutions are helpful for you, um, especially because I've seen a lot of questions based on it. It's a pretty simple machine. And as long as we take care of it and, and put the time, it should last a long time. It's lasted us nine months and this is really the first day I'm cleaning the filter. So um, I'm right there with you with uh, learning these things. So let me know if these uh, tips were helpful for you or if you have any other questions because I will do my best to continue doing research and uh, get connected with uh, Baby Brezza to find out better solutions um, to help you with your problems uh, for this, right? Um, so thank you for watching. Uh, and if you're watching the replay, check out one of these, whichever side it's going to be on, uh, videos from Parent Pacifier. Uh, and if you haven't seen our review yet, uh, go and check out the review of the Baby Brezza bottle sterilizer and, uh, and let us know what you think. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the